I want you to remember this today. God is the God of restoration. I know we're in a tough time, and this difficult situation has maybe given us some things in our life that we never thought were gonna come. Maybe we've lost some things in our life. Maybe it could be finances, could be a physical thing, could be relationship. Maybe what you're going through today has nothing to do with this virus, but something has been lost in your life. I want you to hear something today. Please hear me. Your God who sees you, he loves you, he calls you by name. He is the God that specializes in restoration. That's what we've been looking at, the story of the prodigal son, how God used difficult situations to restore this young man. And I want you to know this, on the other side of whatever difficult situation you're going through, God wants to restore you. So here is the prodigal son in the story. He's out, he's living his life, famine hits. His whole world is flipped upside down. His normal is no longer normal. And he's longing to eat the pods of the feed that he's feeding the pigs. And then he comes to his senses. He's humbled. He begins to process repentance. And he starts his journey home. I want you to listen at this incredible story as the father sees him far off. And the father runs to his son. And this is what his dad says. Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a finger, put a, put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's, let us feast and celebrate. This you see the heart of the father. Notice the father didn't run out and say, how dare you? I can't believe you. You deserve it. All the pain you went through is your fault. No, no, no. He's the God of restoration. I want you to get that picture in your mind. Regardless of the pain you've been through, regardless of what you've struggled with, regardless of even the mistakes that you have made, your father is waiting for you. He wants to put a ring on your finger. He wants to restore your dignity with the, the robe of his righteousness. He wants to put sandals on your feet and he wants to celebrate you being restored. So what do you need today that needs to be restored? Begin to ask God, Lord, bring restoration in my life, in whatever area it is that you need, because he's the God of restoration. I'm so thankful for that. Let me pray for you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, those of us who are longing for daily hope, receive this today. That you wanna restore your, whatever has been lost in our lives and your purpose and your will in our lives. So God, today, reveal to us areas that we just need to ask you to restore. Lord, all of us have needs. And God, remind us that you are the gracious, incredible, loving God of restoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, listen, I love you. I continue to pray for you every day. Though we aren't meeting in person, I am meeting you by the Spirit of the Lord God. I believe he's doing something in our midst. And let me encourage you. Let's keep pressing in. Don't give up. Don't allow discouragement to come in your spirit. Don't allow fear you hang in there, you receive the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the spirit of power and love. And know this, that your pastor loves you, that your, the staff at the church that serves you, and it's our privilege to serve you, loves you. We are gearing up to serve the needs in our church. Everyone who has a need, we want to be able to meet their needs, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever that may be because we serve a God who wants to meet every one of those needs. And so I want you to know you are loved, you are cared for. If you need anything, shoot us an email at faith.cares at faith.church or call the number that's on the screen below. God bless you. Have a great day. Receive your daily hope in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm.